All right, guys, there's the sunrise. A little later than we should. It's a little higher up than, it's not really a sunrise. I mean, it has risen. It is up there in the sky. We got a late start. Uh, Paul has some tire issues on his trailer. By tire issues, his tire like fell apart completely. Yep. So we've gotten one new tire. Get another tire later on in the day. We're gonna fish this morning. Since we had kind of committed, we're fishing now. This may be totally uh we might need to be committed. We don't have any shrimp. We're out of shrimp. So we got some mud minnows, we got some pivot crabs. We're gonna make it happen, Captain. Okay. We're gonna do the impossible. Do the impossible. Fish with stuff we're not used to. Right now. Right now. Now. Against all odds. <laughs> Paul has a fish on and he just caught a fish before this fish. That's two fish. Two fish. Now okay. day, that's, there's no fish to be caught. That should be impossible. And yet, Paul is catching the fish. And it's decent. Okay, I'm not bragging or anything, but I'm probably the best fisherman around. Today, you should be bragging. <laughs> Very difficult yeah. condition. I'm pretty humble, but I'm telling you right now, I'm, 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 I'm the best fisherman. I mean, anybody can fish on the days when it's nice. You can have like a super high tide. And Current's going 75 miles an hour. Whew. Tell you what, it's a pretty fish. Sheep's head. Body. And a wish. Oh, I think I got one of the lines too. That's convenient. Wait a minute, what's going on? You don't even have a fish. You don't have a fish. Do you fall some flame? Do you have a fish? Remember, you ever see a fish this big? How in the world did you get that? Where's it at? Right here? Oh, oh. hi. You put, did you switch the camera on me again? Turn it towards you. Oh. Lucky. Got another one. We're, we're making a video. We are videoing fools. Look how he moves his fins back and forth. See, that? that's how he swims in the water. Yeah. With his fins. See that? That's how he does it. See that? Are you some kind of biologist? I'm a biologist. I'm a micro. <laughs> I'm just like George yeah. just stands on the, what's that thing called? Seinfeld. Seinfeld, thank you. You're a brain biologist. Brain biologist. There he is. Mr. Smiley. That's a good looking fish. They're thick. They're just hard to clean. I mean, this you can keep them this size. It's, so, it's a little over, it's probably 11 inch fish. I mean, I usually use a lot of soap when I clean them. Yeah. And they just don't come clean. They I mean, don't come clean. They're hard to clean. You can't put bleach on them. You can't get this black off. Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's a sheep head. Mighty sheep's head. Sheep's head. Is it sheep or sheep's? Sheep head. Sheep head. Sheep head. A sheep's head. This is a sheep's head. What is this? Sheep's? Sheep. Sheep. Sheep head or sheep? I'd say sheep's head. Okay. Comment right. below. We either got the proper it. pronunciation. Yeah. yeah, just let us let us know if it's sheep head or sheep's head. We're pretty novice about this fishing stuff. Yeah. All right, well, got a lot of action right now. We moved locations. We're down by these uh, pillars. Um, pillars, pillars. There's uh, oysters all over these pillars, so you would think. They really felt confident. Yes. They were moved over. Here come some people. Editors. Talking about us. We're live video, so they probably saw us on video there coming up here. That happens to us an awful lot. Just kidding. It never happens to us. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering where you were going with that. 
Adrian! Oh, God! What's what? another one, Bob? No, you didn't. It was a good one. I'll have to look at the film to see that. You guys, stop looking at me. God. That one was swimming with it. I mean, it was like going oh, sideways. Like, like a crappie would be? Yeah, like a... Like a bass? Big old, yeah, like a bass on a jig. It's bass on a jig. You held it and swimming off with it. But then all of a sudden, the wind dies. Oh, that's a nice one. Woo! Yeah. That's as big as that was the one we just caught. No. It's about the same size. But it's nice. It's not the one that I thought I had earlier. Mm -mm. And he was a hog head dog. This is just a regular dog. He's not a hog head. Mm -hmm. It's windy and they're never around. And when the wind stops, they get on you. So where are they? In the wind. They're in the wind. So that's the answer. Not in the wind. It's blowing in the wind. I mean, the answer. It just blows my mind. It's blowing in the wind. Oh! I got one. Oh! That was a big fish. Good lord. Oh my goodness. Guys, that thing just tore my heart out. Man. There, I got him. Got him? Yeah. Remember, we don't have a net. Best you can. We're going to see who he is. Oh yeah, big old sheep said. You were right. Y'all see him? Yeah. He came flying in the boat. Oh, he's big, I think. Let me see. So whatever that was, it hit mine. I don't know, folks. He's 13 inches. Should I keep him and fillet him? Or wait for bigger ones? Uh, we usually have to catch them. Okay. Enough said. I have nothing to eat tonight. Well, I was saying to keep it. Oh, so you're gonna say? I mean, that's what I, I said. We don't we usually catch them any bigger than that. So, like, that's as big a fish as we usually catch. Oh. Mm. Get him? Yep. Let's go. See, this is what I envisioned happening on you were retired. Oh, I think it's a black drum. No, what is that? I got a sea bass. Bass Look how pretty that is, folks. Oh, I don't know what that is, Paul. That's not a sea bass. That's not a sea bass? I don't know what that is. Anybody know what this is? Somebody help us. Got a yell, 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 yell. Yell. It's got a yell. Yellow. Oh, I see what you put up. A uh, bottom sweeper jig. A bottom sweeper jig. I don't think I ever heard of one of them. You're about to hear about it. Bottoms. It's about to be all the rage. Did you lose your thing? This is a little different. See, I, I don't know whether like, 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 like I immediately need to jerk. Set the hook or I mean set the hook. I didn't call you a jerk. But I tell you, only a jerk don't jerk. I wish if I could sit and look on <laughs> Jerk, don't jerk. Jerk, don't jerk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't hit you. Don't, Paul, don't even. Oh, my goodness. I get home and Tony sees this red mark on my face. It's great. Straight up, straight side, straight out. Whoa, here you go. Huh. Got him now. You're the guy. <laughs> yeah, the, the bigger box. What box, box is bigger, Paul? Folks, which box is bigger? Well, I guess this is yeah, thicker. Well, it's obviously bigger. It's obviously thicker, which makes it bigger. Whatever. Crab. 
Biggest one so far. Hi, right, I've seen him get a lot of ones. So you want it? Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Paul's got a pole bending. It's a pole bender, but. Ta da! I think he was caught on something. Were you caught on something? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at the set of teeth on him. And there's. That's what I was talking about, little buck teeth. Nothing against you. That's just a, a turn. He's probably got... Describe. He's probably got about 50 teeth in there. All right, guys. From this point on in the video, I'm going to have to do a voiceover because the wind just got so bad that you're not going to be able to hear anything we're saying. Uh, we moved to a different dock, about three or four docks down from where we were. And we started really catching a lot of fish there. We uh, continued fishing with the fiddler crabs. Uh, here, I think I was using a bottom sweeper jig. And uh, of course, you know that other fish besides sheep's head eat fiddler crabs. So here, I believe I caught a, a little redfish, uh, which we were really happy to get. Paul loves to, uh, to eat redfish. And, um, I've still got a lot of uh, fish in my freezer, so I didn't keep any, but Paul wanted to keep a few, so that's what we did. That's a nice slot red right there. Uh, you know, we continued to catch the rest of the afternoon there. The wind got worse and worse as it went along. Uh, this is a new location that we haven't fished before, so we were really happy. Uh, you can see here Paul's getting another sheep's head, and... Um, the bite on this stock was a lot larger area, a lot larger location where we could catch fish. The dock prior to this, we were basically fishing one little area, one little area right next to the boat. And you could see the fish on the down graph and all that kind of stuff, my, my depth finder. But this location, anywhere between where that boat was sitting and that dock, we could get a bite anywhere around there. So uh, this is a new spot. We're going to be excited to go back and try it again and uh, see what we can get on. At this point in the afternoon, the tide had really gone out a lot and the current really doesn't look like it's that fast right there, And uh, but it is really going. The current was really going out hard that day because we had uh, a really, really high tide in October and uh, November we get really, really high tides down here on the Georgia coast and I'm sure all up along the East Coast. Uh, so again, we continued to catch some, catch the sheep's head here. I think right here, Paul has a, uh, has a, a, a redfish maybe that he brings in. He, uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm sure this is gonna be a redfish, it is. So uh, that's one that he picked up there. And uh, anytime we catch those while we're fishing for sheep's head, that's just a bonus. Now, of course, the day before, I had caught a lot of redfish uh, using a shrimp and a float rig. Uh, here, I believe, I have another sheep's head. Uh, the thing about sheep's head fishing is you get tons and tons of bites. And uh, you just go through, and you don't see it on the video, but you go through fiddler crab after fiddler crab after fiddler crab. Just one right after the other. And um, it's really fun because you're, you know, you get a lot of action. Even if you're not catching a lot of fish, you're always getting bites. And uh, if you're where the, the sheep's head are. And so it's really exciting to fish that way. And it kind of really keeps you occupied because you're constantly changing, uh, you know, putting on a new fiddler crab and a new fiddler crab. Um, right here at the end, I hook into a very nice redfish. And uh, I want to say it was probably in the 36 inch range because I had caught a 
redfish the day before that was 29 inches and this one was considerably bigger than that we did not have a net you know i told you that i had lost my net not lost my net but my net had uh, broken a couple of days before so me and paul were talking while i'm trying to reel this thing in about how we're going to get it in the boat and uh, paul was going to try to use these fish grips and i told him i said i don't know if we'll be able to get that in its mouth uh, because it may still be fighting when we get it up here now if you get it and it's just totally exhausted and it's just laying there still then you might be able to get the fish grips in its mouth so what i was going to do and i told him i said i'm going to grab the line in my hand and a tail in the other hand and then pull up the line and the tail at the same time and paul was telling me i don't know what you're talking about you're going to have to do that i, I can't <laughs> he'd never seen anybody do that and uh, and i've seen some people do it on videos and it looks like a pretty effective way to, to get the fish in if it's a big fish so i told him I, I said well i'll do it and so when i got the fish up here near the boat and i think you'll be able to kind of see it there's a couple of times here in the video where you can kind of see the fish um like right there so i get it up beside the boat and um, you know i'm trying to get down low enough to where i can reach it and um, you know in my younger days i just lay on the deck and all that you know and jump up and move and all but now you know i don't like laying down there all that much so paul really just kind of didn't know what i wanted him to do there and so i tried to do this myself i reached down and i grabbed the line and uh, the fish was right there and i went to grab its tail and the line broke and it got away so i was really disappointed um, then we caught some more fish after this i didn't show every fish of course that we caught we caught a whole lot that day we had a good time um, so you can see me right here i kind of pitch a fit so while you're watching me pitch a fit i'll just tell you guys thanks for watching nichols retirement empire and uh, i appreciate you guys watching here i go that was tore up <laughs> uh, thanks guys have a good day